Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at a time. Spoiler-free insights, hidden themes, all the good stuff in bite-sized pieces. Wrestling with a towering TBR pile? Don't have the time? Don't worry, we've got you covered. So grab a cuppa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today, we're setting sail on the royal road to a person's heart, delving into a timeless classic, how to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This groundbreaking book packed with wisdom has made life sweeter and more endearing for millions of lives worldwide since its debut in the 30s. If you're walking onto the scene of action with us for the first time, the only way to make quality lasting friends is to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our insightful book summaries. Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People is a game-changing masterpiece on relationship management, as pertinent today as when it was first penned in 1936. This profound script is an overflowing trove of wisdom, created to assist you in mastering social cues and strategies. It's your roadmap to metamorphosing into a successful salesperson, adeptly managing complaints, skirting arguments, and even shape you into a charismatic leader. The book is carefully segregated into four essential parts. The first phase, techniques in handling people, which instills in you the ability to sail through social scenarios with poise and diplomacy. It peels back the curtain on the power of not criticizing, condemning, or complaining, and showcases the profound impact of honest and sincere appreciation. The second section, Six Ways to Make People Like You, unravels the magic of making a positive impression and cultivating a lasting rapport. It reveals how becoming genuinely interested in other people and being a good listener can make you a magnet to others. The third part, how to win people to your way of thinking, is a masterclass on persuading and positively influencing others. It's not about manipulation, but about the art of asking questions instead of giving direct orders and allows you to discover the power of dramatizing your ideas. The fourth and conclusive section, be a leader. How to change people without giving offense or arousing resentment provides us with keys to inspire change while preserving harmony and respect. It delves into the practice of talking about your own mistakes before criticizing others and throws light on the power of praising even the smallest improvements. Carnegie's book is not merely a book. It's a voyage into deciphering human nature and relationships. It's about understanding and respecting diverse viewpoints, acknowledging achievements, and fundamentally abstaining from negative criticism. He accentuates the value of being genuinely interested in others, the importance of remembering names as the sweetest sound in any language to the person in question, the wisdom of steering clear of unnecessary disagreements, the need to make others feel significant, and the crucial act of safeguarding their self-esteem. This isn't just a book, it's a blueprint for lasting positive relationships. One of the key takeaways from How to Win Friends and Influence People is the profound concept of thinking from the other person's point of view and arousing in the other person an eager want. Dale Carnegie's timeless wisdom illuminates each page, advocating for a world where appreciation and honest praise rule over criticism and condemnation. His belief was simple. These two elements are far more powerful and inspiring. It's a concept that seems simple at first glance but is surprisingly tough to execute. It necessitates a shift in focus from I to you, from me to them. It demands an understanding that every person you communicate with comes with their own beliefs, desires, and motivations, and recognizing these can create bridges of understanding and cooperation. But Carnegie's wisdom goes deeper. He highlights the significance of showing respect for the other person's opinions. In a world brimming with opinions, the act of stepping back and genuinely listening to what others have to say can create profound changes. It's not about nodding your head to everything you hear, but about creating a safe space for others to express themselves, letting them know that their viewpoints are important and worthy. Then comes the idea of giving honest and sincere appreciation. Acknowledgement and gratitude are powerful tools in nurturing positive relationships, be it in a professional or personal setting. Carnegie believed that everyone has a desire to be important, to be valued. By recognizing their contributions, no matter how minute, you're fueling their aspirations to improve while simultaneously fostering a relationship grounded in respect and trust. Lastly, Carnegie shared the wisdom of avoiding arguments. Let's face it, arguments rarely yield productive outcomes. 
Often they leave both individuals frustrated and more rooted in their own beliefs. Carnegie's advice? Rather than engaging in disputes strive to steer clear of disagreements, seek common ground and find mutual understanding. In essence, how to win friends and influence people is not a handbook of manipulation techniques. It's not about making people do things against their will. It's a heartfelt guide on how to authentically connect with people, how to appreciate their worth, and how to treat them with the respect they deserve. As Carnegie so eloquently put it, this book isn't about manipulation, it's about having a genuine interest in people, believing in their importance, and treating them with due respect. So that was a quick summary of how to win friends and influence people. This bestseller, since its release amidst the grim backdrop of the Great Depression, has won friends and influenced people globally over the decades. Its timeless wisdom has left a mark, a sweetest sound, on countless personal and professional relationships and transformed ordinary individuals into names that sound magic. The principles Dale Carnegie laid out in this book are as fresh and applicable today as they were nearly a century ago, underscoring the universal essence of how to make people like you. The book's emphasis on showing genuine interest, extending sincere appreciation and having respect for others' opinions is a roadmap for anyone seeking to win others to their way of thinking. In a world where the ability to express ideas, to assume leadership and to arouse enthusiasm among people are paramount, Carnegie's book stands as a spark that kindles the fire of effective interpersonal skills. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a manager, or someone striving to become a friendlier person, this book is a tool in human relations. It's a treasure chest of insights packed with wisdom that can help you change people without giving offense or arousing resentment in your personal and professional relationships. Before we sign off, we implore your assistance in the spirit of sincere appreciation. Please subscribe to our channel. Your subscription mirrors the principle of becoming genuinely interested in our content, thus motivating us to craft more summaries in this fashion. Feel free to shower us with your comments recommendations embodying the ability to arouse enthusiasm in our team. Don't forget to click the like button, an act of giving honest and sincere appreciation. Share our content with friends, employing the tactic of winning people to your way of thinking. Ensure to turn on notifications and stay connected, adhering to the principle of becoming a friendlier person. Until next time, this is The Book Fox Summaries, outsmarting the ordinary, one book at a time, embodying the spirit of how to win friends and influence people.